Good morning. Hello, hello, everyone. <clears throat> Excuse me. Can't seem to clear my throat this morning. <laughs> <clears throat> How is everybody doing on this fine Tuesday morning? Hello, hello. If you are on here with me, please say hello. Hi, I missed you guys this weekend. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I had an amazing, amazing weekend. And that's what I want to share with you guys this morning. Um, but I hope everyone had a beautiful weekend. If you were on here with me, please say hello. Let me know what you did this weekend. Um, it was um, raining like for like two days straight, you guys. Like Friday, Saturday, we got so much rain. I mean, there was just so much flooding going on everywhere up here in Connecticut. Um, <clears throat> but we were so blessed on Sunday because it was absolutely beautiful outside, like gorgeous. Like I can't even tell you for the first day of October, it was absolutely beautiful outside. And um, which was so pleasant because um, we had an opportunity. Well, first of all, I want to say Saturday was amazing, which I'll be talking about in a second. Um, but Sunday was beautiful because we had an opportunity, um, Bobby Lou with their acoustic, you know, music that they brought along with myself. We were outside on the sidewalks outside of Cura de Se, um, <clears throat> the nutrition shop out in Winstead, right on the sidewalks of Winstead. And it was absolutely beautiful outside. Um, so you know, we were bringing art and music out, outdoors and it was such a beautiful day and it was so relaxing. Like, I just can't even tell you how relaxing it was for me. For me, I, I didn't even care if there was one person that came up to talk to me <laughs> because I was in my zone. It was outside. The, the weather was just beautiful and I was in my zone painting and I got to finish my little chickadees. Um, and oh, I just love my little chickadees, which I've been sharing with you guys here. So hopefully you guys have seen them, but yes, I was in my zone, so I didn't care who was around, <laughs> you know, so painting along with, you know, live music, I just, I can see why a lot of my painters love it. I, you know, because when I'm, when I'm actually <clears throat> at one of my events that I am instructing at, you know, and facilitating, I don't paint usually, I facilitate, you know, I instruct. I have a demo already painted ahead of time and most of the time it's just a quick little demo that I'm showing them, but I don't enjoy painting, just relaxing when I'm instructing. And so I had an opportunity to enjoy just painting and listening to their beautiful acoustic tunes, you know, outside on Sunday. So it was absolutely a beautiful, beautiful day. So I hope you guys had a beautiful, beautiful weekend. Good morning, Miss Tova. Mm, a fiery background. So when I did that background, <clears throat> I painted that background probably, I don't know, two or three weeks ago, sometime like the end of August. Because I was just, I was just feeling, I was kind of, you know, in the fallish mode already. And so I just was in thought of, you know, fall when I was painting it. But, um, but that's actually pretty interesting because of what I explained also about the chickadees, you know, in my post. So yeah, but yes, a fiery background. It truly is a fiery background. It's a very fallish background. <laughs> Which most of my chickadees, my little friends, they come around most most of the time. They come around when they come around here. It's most it's in the fall. It's in the cooler weather that they're here most of the time. And I just love my little chickadees. And I was so blessed this morning because I got to enjoy all of my little bird friends. You know, I had Mr. and Mrs. Cardinal out there. I had about three little chickadee friends. Um, <clears throat> my tufted titmouse. Also. Um, Oh, what is it called? Uh, oh, I can't remember now. It's it's a it's some kind of a woodpecker. He's like a woodpecker, but not a woodpecker. I can't remember. <laughs> 
but he was out there along with some sparrows. So yes, it was a very joyous morning <laughs> to see all of my beautiful little, little furry, um, or not furry, my little feathery friends. I didn't see any of my furry friends. Oh, that's not true. I did see um, my little chipmunks also running around in the yard. Um, but those were all my little feathery friends that I love so much. And that brings me so much joy in the mornings. But yes, good morning. Good morning, Lady B. It's so good to see you, sister. So you guys, so <clears throat> I want to talk about my Saturday now <laughs> because it was literally grace upon grace upon grace upon grace on Saturday. And that's what the conference was all about. How cool is that? So I have to share this because good morning, Sarah. Yes, I love my birds. Um, Miss Sarah, I just have to say this. I am loving your poems. Keep posting your poems, girlfriend, because I see a book coming out of that. I see a book coming out of it, and it is just so encouraging. Um, <clears throat> but so, yes, yeah, so Saturday. So, you guys, I have been like prepping for this conference for about two or three weeks. Not like prepping hard or anything like that, just going into scripture and to prayer and journaling and, and, you know, because the Lord like gave me an image for it, like pretty quick. And so he also gave me colors, the colors that I was going to be bringing. So then I started just kind of doing like a study, you know, on grace and a study on glory and a study on the image that he gave me, which I'll share in a second, you know, that kind of thing. And so <clears throat> and it wasn't daily or anything like that, but like, you know, maybe once or twice a week, I'd go in and start, you know, writing about the colors and looking up the scriptures and so on and so forth because of the colors that he gave me as well. So I'm like, okay, I see a lot of glory in this painting. So I, so the night before, which was Friday night, so I'm up in the middle of the night, right? Because <laughs> I get anxious. When I know that I have to be somewhere early, because we had to be there between 8 and 8.15, and that's early for me to be out the door, you know. I get up early, but I'm not out the door that early, you know. So, <clears throat> so I was a little anxious, you know, because I knew how to be at, you know, at the church, you know, between 8 and 8.15 to, um, to just get set up and not be rushed or anything like that, because I was going to be painting live. For those of you that don't know, I actually painted live for this conference, you know. Um, just for worship, during worship. And and it was a nine to three conference. Again, it was all about grace upon grace. There were three three um, pastors that spoke. We had, I mean, it was absolutely amazing, you guys. We had a mime dancer that just, oh, uh, just poured his heart out through miming for Jesus. It was so beautiful. Um, oh, I just have to say that was like one of my favorites. We had the MC herself, Mary DeLeon, that um, she's amazing. <laughs> we just had such a divine connection with her. Um, she also um, does spoken word and rap. And so <clears throat> she actually ended up, you know, through a testimony, a part of her life, you know, she actually did a, a spoken word for us, which is awesome. And a couple of the pastors that shared their testimony along with their word, it was just beautiful to hear the testimonies that, that morning as well, that day. Um, and then we had beautiful worship dancing, you know, movement through worship, which is absolutely gorgeous. We had um, a couple of ladies that worshiped in the morning, and then we had... Um, Excuse me. We also had someone that sang a beautiful song for our communion time, Miss Essie. It was absolutely beautiful. Um, and then we had, of course, our own little life, you know, um, I want to say um, movements of fire starters, you know, life ministries, three young ladies, you know, from Miss Lydia's um, <clears throat> Uh, movements of fire, you know, that did a dance and beautiful flagging also in the afternoon. So it was all about creativity the entire day. And again, because we are created in Christ, in Christ, his image, his own image, and because he is our creator, right? We are all creative. And it was just, it was, it was just so beautiful. It was such a beautiful day. So, so going back to Friday, you know, I get up at three o'clock in the morning and I couldn't sleep. 
<laughs> because I was feeling a little anxious and I had all kinds of things going on in my mind. And it was literally about, you know, how I was going to be painting, how I was going to see myself painting, how is it going to flow, you know, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> uh, why do I worry about these things? <laughs> because we do, right? So, and so I asked the Lord to just give me, to give me peace and comfort and, you know, just, just to, to receive his peace so I could fall back to sleep, to sleep, you know, Lord, let me just see, let me see an image of you, of your face, you know, as I had my eyes closed and, and he did, he gave me an image of, of him. And right after that, I was able to go to sleep. So I wake up, right? We head over to, to the church. We end up being late, <laughs> you know, and I'm like, oh, great. You know, so we're there like about 830. And this is a huge barn church. It's like a, literally the shape of a barn. It's the coolest thing ever. It's it's huge. It's been around for over 200 years from my understanding. And um, so we go in, you know, we start getting set up. And I was just like complete peace, you guys, complete peace. So worship was absolutely amazing. Um, the two young ladies that brought worship in the morning are actually from Pastor Gary DeRose's church. And it was just so beautiful, so beautiful. And I was able to just get completely caught up in it and immersed in it. Now, I didn't even share with you guys. I had the opportunity for the first time <laughs> to paint up in a balcony, which was the coolest thing ever. Um because they have, there was like a whole, there's a whole balcony in this church. And so I'm thinking, you know, I'm thinking this church is going to be, you know, it's going to be packed, you know, it's going to be sold out, you know, as far as the conference and it wasn't. So luckily for me, you know, my, and my husband, we were up in the balcony alone, but I had complete view of everything, you know, of the sanctuary, and the stage, you know, and just, it was just beautiful. And so, and I'm painting up in the balcony. I was close to heaven. <laughs> I was up there close to Jesus. So I had asked my husband previously, you know, I said, you know, I brought my, um, my tripod and I'm like, you know, can you please, you know, record, maybe take a few pictures, you know, because I've never really had a recording of my process when I'm painting live. You know, and so he did such a great job. My honey did such a great job in recording like the process step by step <clears throat> in bits and pieces, which was great for me because then I got to really like just enjoy Jesus all over again by watching, you know, and I could just see, I could see how he was moving through me when I was painting, which was just amazing to me. And so, <clears throat> so again, Worship was amazing. I mean, I was already like a wreck <laughs> in this first song. So I'm going through and I'm painting. And I just have to say, by the way, this is the painting here that was painted. And it's not finished yet because there's something I need to add to it. But this is the painting here. And it's like a 24 by 32 or 24 by 36 size canvas, I think, or something. It's a large canvas because... I like to move a lot when I'm when I'm painting for Jesus, when I'm in worship, because that's my worship. That's my worship to him is painting. And <clears throat> it's just me expressing on that campus, you know, in worship, like someone who expresses through word or someone who expresses through song or someone who expresses through dance and movement. My movements are with the paintbrush or with my hands. So anyhow, so, you know, so I'm just grabbing a few colors, you know, as I'm sensing to grab these colors and I'm painting and, and just, you guys, I was a complete mess. I was a complete mess. I was a hundred percent immersed. I was so immersed in his presence that morning. Like I didn't even know my husband was there. <laughs> I mean, I knew he was there, but I had moments of where I was just, I was just wrecked, where I was on my knees. I was just praising him and glorifying him while I was painting. So 
to make a long story short, as you know, that went on for about an hour. And I thought I was going to finish this painting in the afternoon with the image that God gave me. So the Lord gave me the image of a swan, that there would be a swan on top of all of that. And so he said to me, no, I want you to finish that at home because this painting is going to be a marker for you. And I knew this was coming. <laughs> I knew this was coming. I knew I was going to end up praying. That this would be a marker for me of how I received his grace. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it was grace upon grace upon grace. Oh. <clears throat> Did you guys know that the number five means grace? Biblically, the meaning of the number five is grace. And that the number five is mentioned, I think it's like 300, let me see, 345 times in the Bible. And I didn't know that. I was like, what? <laughs> really? <laughs> when, when you multiply five, it's 20, you know, five times five, multiply five with itself, it's 25. And that means grace upon grace. And I didn't know that. I'm like, wow, that's so cool. <clears throat> Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You, go, you guys, this whole painting was about his glory and grace. It was all about his glory and grace. And I actually wrote a little poem <laughs> for this. Um, good morning, Miss Amy and Miss Alice. So good to see you guys. Um, and it came from Isaiah 60 that says that your glory is magnified, received. I am immersed in your grace, multiplied. Holy Spirit releases through me with splendor, glorified. Your grace and your glory rises upon me. Mm. So his grace was being received through me and the use of my paintbrush on that canvas, using my unique gifts that he has given me. And then it was being multiplied. And then that multiplication is given to others. And that's how grace is received and given and how it becomes grace upon grace upon grace. Um, where is it? Let's see. In the book of John, chapter 1, verse 16, it says, John 1, 16, that for out of his fullness, the superabundance of his grace and truth that we have all received grace upon grace, Spiritual blessing upon spiritual blessing, favor upon favor, and gift heaped upon gifts. Wow. It was the flowing of his glory that was being multiplied on that painting for me. Um, something that I was reminded of this morning as well is that... <clears throat> that I did not allow for fear to grab a hold of my heart and my mind because I was empower, empowered by his grace and strength. And that's how, that's how my flow went for me. And that's why he wants it to be a marker for me, you know, for something for me to remember, right? For the rest of my days. When I am done with it, I will be sharing it, of course. And if anyone wants a printing of the canvas, and if it speaks to you, I'd be more than happy to send you a print of it. So 1 Corinthians 15, I want to just end with this. You guys, it was all about my vulnerability that led to the grace. Right? It was all about the vulnerability, my vulnerability that led to grace.
in 1 Corinthians 15, 10, and not all of it, but in 1 Corinthians 15, 10, it says that, but whatever, but whatever I am now, it's all because God poured out his special favor on me, his grace and glory. It was not I, but God that was working through me by his grace. Yes. And that's why this turned out to be the way it is. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Thank you, Father. Wow. Oh, I just had to share that with you guys. <laughs> and I hope that that was a blessing. And I hope that this encourages you because it was truly a testimony for me. And in my journey with him through my art, I hope that it also blesses you and encourages you and that you too can continue to receive, keep receiving his grace so that you can multiply it and give it out, multiply it and give it out to others because that's what we're here for, right? I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Go out there and be a blessing to someone else. And I will see you guys again tomorrow morning. Bye.